612 on your Friday morning. Welcome back to GMSA. We have been highlighting local graduates who have gone above and beyond. We are ending our series this morning with a great graduate from Harlandale High School. As Stephanie Cerner reports, Colette Zamora is graduating 10th in her class despite the odds against her. Colette Zamora has had a successful senior year at Harlandale High School. She's not only ranked number 10 in her graduating class, she is also the vice president of her senior class, the vice president of the National Honor Society, president of the Business Professionals of America, and editor for her school yearbook. But she tells us getting to this point wasn't easy. Child Protective Services took Colette and her two brothers away from their mother right before she started high school. At my eighth grade ceremony, uh, they called me out in my first period and it was pretty crazy because like I was excited about like graduating and going to high school um, and they called me out and they, there was a CPS worker in the office and they had told me that they were going to be removing me from my mom's custody. Colette and her mother were separated for a year and a half while Colette's mother went through a rehabilitation program called drug court. I live with my grand, my godparents but I hadn't talked to them in years so I didn't fit in there as well but I kind of adjusted a little bit but it was hard like not having my mom and having to adjust to being with somebody else. But when Colette was finally reunited with her mother, they had to live at the battered women's shelter. I didn't think they would take my kids from me, um, but I'm glad they did. It helped me um, to get better. And uh, that was that, that's why it was so stressful because I had never been in a place like that. And it was like, it was really like different. And I was scared at first, I, um, I cried. Colette's dad hasn't really been around either. He's been in and out of jail and is now no longer in the picture. But for Colette, everything she's been through has been motivation to help others. I want to help kids like that had been through the same thing as me. And I also want to like help people like my mom, like that had went through the things that my mom had went through and as well my dad because my dad had went through some stuff. I'm very proud. I don't want her to leave. I didn't know what I'm going to do without her. That was Stephanie Cerner reporting. Hey, this morning we have an update on another great graduate we featured, Pedro Fuentes from Southside High School. Get this, we have learned he's received a full scholarship to attend St. Mary's University. Congratulations. You can check out his story and others on our website at ksat.com. And we feature several outstanding graduates. You can check all of their stories on our website, like Mark mentioned, ksat.com, and look for Great Graduate section. And it's under the Lifestyle tab, and you can also upload pictures of the graduates in your life.